Next, we'll add an SSDR stage to compress our clip before export. SSDR, short for Smooth Skinning Decomposition with Rigid Bones, is a kind of mesh-based compression we can apply in HollowEdit. SSDR requires that the preceding stage is stabilized. In this tutorial, we're using pre-stabilized data, but we can also use HollowEdit to add stabilization to a raw volumetric capture, which we'll go over in a future tutorial. To add an SSDR stage to our track, in the composition window, there will be a button to add a stage at the bottom of our track. Press the Add Stage button and select SSDR from the drop-down menu. The SSDR stage automatically generates intervals based on the existing stabilization data present in the track. On a given stage, intervals specify what frame range processing will be applied to. They're shown in the timeline as blocks labeled with the frames that they affect. For our clip, intervals are present on frame 0 to 1 and 2 to 20 and so on. We're not going to be changing any of the parameters for this example, but using the disclosure triangles beside the titles of the track, we can expand the parameters of each stage and see where we can make adjustments. For example, in the SSDR stage, the parameters max bones and max iteration values can be configured separately for each interval. Before we can export, we need to process the stage we've added to the composition. Right-click under your SSDR stage in the empty space in the timeline and choose Execute All from the drop-down menu. This will compute all of our stages by sending tasks to the job server for processing. It will take some time for the stage to process. We must allow it to finish running before we can continue and export the clip.